here's our next part. We're going to keep moving along here. We left off with the uh, time setting gear mechanism, keyless works, what have you, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's all put together. Those parts are all replaced. Uh, that's a new part. We got a new plate. That's a new gear. New gear. By new, I mean um, new to this movement, not new part because it did come out of an old watch and it does have some wear, but not as much as that last one. So let's continue here. We're going to we're going to put our winding mechanism together. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's focus while we're at it. Okay. First things first. We have the winding gear. Although, let's do a little little D5 on this uh, setup. This will get a lot of wear and use because it is the winding mechanism. We're going to put a Schmitz of D5 right there. Is that in the shot? It is. Okay, that's a little bit of D5. And then our gear drops in. And then we're going to put some D5 out here as well. Before we put that center arbor in place. And some on the inside. Doesn't take much. Not much at all. Uh, with these close tolerances. I guess you would call this an arbor. I don't know. Don't know what it's called, but I know where it goes. And if you remember, that had a left-handed, a left-hand threaded screw, like so. We are going to loosen this to tighten it. Okay, makes perfect sense clear as mud. How's that look? Okay, there's our click. Working fine. Next we have our ratchet wheel. No, we don't. We're not going to do that. We tried that last time. So, let's put our train together. Because we have a gear that's going to go on top of that first. Don't make that mistake again. All right. That's going in. We're going to lubricate that from the other side in a minute. This uh, center, let's call, let's see, what are we calling that? The second-hand pinion. Yes. Let's call that. No, uh, the dogs are unglued. Second hand pinion. That's going in. Alright, Trixie. Hey, hey! Calm down. I don't know what they're unglued about. There's our second hand pinion. That's what we're calling that. Now that that's in, we can put this ratchet wheel on top. Easy. Got a little bit of dust right there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on. Got to line that gear up a bit. I don't know what sets dogs off. They're just unglued over something. So now we can put this on. You can see how that 
gear is oh dummy wrong size screwdriver Let's try that again Who knows what sets a dog? Come on. Okay, we're not putting that on tight. We're just going to leave that in there like that. It uh, gave me some difficulty going in. I don't know why. It's me. Trust me. It ain't the watch. Just making sure we're focused. Okay. Next. We're going to put our escape wheel in. I'm going to make sure that's dust free. Where's my blower? No dust anywhere. Make sure we're in the shot. Looks good. All right, next is our bridge. Are we in the shot close enough? I'm going to lay that in there as gently as possible. We're going to nudge it around a bit. And then we take a look on the side. See what's lining up. And if it doesn't line up right away, that's not unusual. I don't fight it. I don't force it. And I come back around. Put everything in straight. As, as I can get it. And then we try again. Okay. I think our center wheel is lined up. Maybe not. The tedious part of this job right here is getting that, getting those three pivots to line up. I'm going to come out of the shot here because I got to get tight to it. Come on, line up for me. Yeah, sometimes you got to talk to it. All right. Okay, so when that doesn't work, off it comes, and we find out what are we doing wrong. That's engaged, that's engaged, and that's engaged. Okay, it takes time, can't rush, 
Yeah, can't drop stuff either. Can't rush these things. Don't rush. It will work out. Just give it a nudge here and there. They can be tedious. You force it and you got a bad part. That's what you don't want. We don't want that at all. Okay, I'm going to take this out of the shot. Get in here with a loop. What is going on? Something's fighting me and I don't know why. Not that there has to be a reason. It's just the nature of the beast. These can be a, these can be a pain. I'm out of the shot because I'm working very close with the loop. Trying to line things up as close as I can. Before laying that bridge on there. You would think, how hard can it be? You're only lining up three pivots. Well, when you're working on this scale, it can be a pain. It can be tedious. And when you tinker with it enough, and line it up and play with it and move things around, it's come back. We're too tight. Before you know it, you're good to go. And I think we are. The bridge is seated. No, 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 we're not. No, we're not. They got two out of three. Ay, ay, ay. Thought I had two out of three. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had to do that, didn't I? Good Lord. Boy, this is really fighting me. I don't know why. I'm going to take it out of the shot. Everything's in place. Everything's in order. It's just being a mule. You'll have this. You'll have days like this. Boy, just when you think things are going to line up, something moves on you, and it doesn't want to do anything. Man, man, what's this taking? Ten minutes? Sheesh. So much for speeding things up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Still working on it.
Now I just felt something snap into place. Yeah, it can take some time getting these. Looks like the bridge is seated. That's a good thing. Let's zoom in on those jewels. I don't know if I can get a good shot of the shafts coming through. So that means we got to take a look to it. All right, with a 10 power loop, I looked at it. All the shafts are through the jewels. Let's focus back here. And if I give that a nudge, you can see everything working through to the escape wheel. That's a good sign. So let's screw this down before we bump it and throw something out of alignment I don't know how many parts I'm gonna make this that took quite a bit of time getting that bridge seated okay It doesn't matter how many parts I make it. What matters is we get it done. And everything's working good. Let's see. Okay. Maybe we should end this. After we lubricate those jewels. Come back to the next part. Why in the shot? I'm just going around tightening these screws. Making sure they're home. Okay. Just a nudge on the winding stem and everything starts spinning freely. That is a good sign. So, we're getting into 17 minutes here. Let's put some D, not D5. I'm reaching for the D5, but I need 9010 on those jewels. So let's put some 9010 before we move this movement any more. Let's get some lubricant. There's one. There we have that one. And three. One, two, three lubricated come back around this is our pallet fork jewel here is the two that we need to do we got one two and three wow the phone's ringing good lord so there we have it we're gonna end this now so I can get that phone call and we will continue with the next part as soon as we can.